Yikes. What was I thinking? Do you ever go back through old photographs, yearbooks, or family videos just to kind of take a stroll down memory lane and find yourself just a little bit embarrassed by yourself? Well, that's what we're going to kind of do this week, sort of. Uh, I'll explain, but first, let's get things rolling. So not too long ago, I was doing some housekeeping on the YouTube channel, you know, just kind of updating some descriptions, answering some comments that had come through. And one of the older videos just kind of started to play as a little preview. And as I watched a few seconds of it, all of a sudden something dawned on me and I said, why don't I make a reaction video to my very first Press Penny video that I had uploaded to YouTube? I mean, it was only about three years ago, so how bad can it be, right? Well, I guess we'll see. So why don't you come with me and we'll take a look together. All right, here we go. Disney's All-Star Sports Resort 2017. Let's see. All right, first off, you can notice there's some of these machine shots of it's green with some blue trim on it. Those are actually the penny machines from the All-Star Sports Resort. So I just kind of had filmed that first and then used some of the clips in this intro. Something else I'm gonna point out real quick. So this was my original intro music and I'll be honest, I actually really liked it. It took me a long time. I hunted through a whole bunch of different uh, music samples and this is the one I came up with. Uh, but I actually got a lot of comments on it within a few videos uploading to the channel from just, you know, viewers. And I always I said, I always appreciate uh, some constructive criticism, of course. And they, a lot of people said it was very jarring. It just kind of started really loud uh, and so you'll actually notice if you kind of follow along from some of these videos over the course i forget how many i did keep this original intro music for but eventually i did actually change it and that's what i've kind of been using ever since so if there's anything that you know you don't you don't like about the videos leave a comment and let me know obviously try to be nice about it um, but i'm always open to suggestions to making the channel better the videos more enjoyable so definitely feel free to let me know if there's something you like or you don't like uh, i'm always open to suggestions so all right let's get back into the video here this is an old map of Walt Disney World property I'd found. I think it was actually from the Vacation Club. Uh, so there's a lot of things on there that you can see, like there's the old Sorcerer's Hat and the Earful Tower over at MGM Studios, but it was the best map I could find that didn't have any labels on it. All-Star Sports. Boy, that road looks like it needs a little work. I will admit with my first video, I was very nervous about being in the resort and just kind of randomly filming. Although this was actually filmed on my old iPhone. So I didn't really look any different than anyone, any other guest. They probably, no one probably realized that I wasn't actually staying at the resort. And this is me just trying to establish where I was, going from the main check-in area down the hallway towards the food court. And there is the penny machine. Of course, I didn't want to wait for the people to kind of move out of the way. Oh, glorious. Isn't it always nice to see a whole bunch of penny machines all in one area? Three penny machines and one quarter machine. So I'll stop real quick here. You'll notice the numbers I had on there. I was saying like machine number one, machine number two. That actually references, uh, there's a website that a lot of us collectors use if you're not familiar with, especially for Walt Disney World press pennies or press coins, is presscoins.com. Fantastic. They do an absolutely amazing job over there. I think they have the inside scoop somehow because they always know when brand new machines are out and some of the machines are in some of the craziest places that I, I would never even think to go to to look for a penny machine, but they always seem to know where they are. So they actually have a PDF guide you can download of all the penny machines, all the designs, descriptions, everything like that. And they actually just have a, a number system they use for when the different machines are brought out. So I was just trying to use that. So those numbers actually don't really mean anything other than if you do have one of those guides from the Press Coins website, that's what those machines, I was just trying to match it up because I know a lot of people use those guides. So I was just trying to match it up so people would know which machines we were looking at. So 
You'll also notice this became one continuous shot. So what I initially, and, and a lot of people ask why I do the up and down of the machine in the videos. I do that because I find like a lot of the machine, now I should say these ones, not necessarily so much, but a lot of machines actually do have a lot of detail on the cabinets. And that was the best way I felt that I could kind of help show some of that detail. I just find when I stand back and I get a really wide shot of the machines, yeah, you can see the color, you can kind of see what the cabinet looks like, but you can't see any of the intricacies of it if it's a more, you know, fancy cabinet. Uh, so this is my way of being able to kind of get up close to it and just kind of do a slow pan up and down to give you all the details. Uh, but you'll notice in these early videos, uh, I basically tried to do like the up and down and then I zoomed in on the actual buttons and then I go right up to the marquee sign uh, to try and do it all in one shot as opposed to now I actually do it separately. So I kind of do a, an up and down shot. I try to, you know, take my time, not do it too slow, but obviously I don't want it to do it too quickly. And then I do a, a close up of just the buttons and then a close up of the marquee. I do them in separate shots now, but this was all me just trying to get it all done all at one time. Oh, and this is hideous. So when I first started editing the videos, I was using iMovie on my iMac and I was not very good with it. I didn't really know how to use that. Uh, and I didn't know how to key, uh, key out uh, like a green screen thing. So I was actually taking pictures of these coins just on like a piece of colored paper on my desk. And I didn't know how to get rid of the color and just keep the coin. So that's why you can actually see in this video like the colored paper around the coin. It was a couple videos after that I finally just, you know, found some YouTube videos or Googled how to actually uh, get the green screen, you know, kind of do the green screen out. Um, so eventually it does get better, but oh man, looking at this is horrible. And even that last one on, the uh, right side there with Winnie the Pooh, it looks like the bottom of the coin is even cut off, but eh, it was an attempt. Those cabinets have seen some better days. There's a lot of rough edges on that machine. <laughs> Just something I'm curious about, when those resorts do open up, Hopefully, fingers crossed, next year, I'm wondering if they're going to be converted over to a dollar per penny, or will they just be those new eight design machines? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. They could use a new coat of paint, though. Boy, I gave you about a quarter of a second on that to read the descriptions on those buttons. Uh, it was another one where I was, like, nervous about people standing around watching what I was doing, because I don't think a lot of people stand and, you know, take video of press penny machines. I'm probably one of the few people that actually do that. Uh, and I was just nervous about what other people would think. I don't know why. Right now, it, you know, I've done it so many times, it doesn't bother me. And I, you know, I think people are just used to it. Um, but man, I was trying to get this video done as quickly as I could. Plus also side note, uh, one of those original videos, the clips I had put in the intro, there's one where there's like a tiny little hand with a penny in it. That's actually my daughter's hand. My daughter was with me. And of course, as with all kids, you know, they wanted to be off doing other things. They didn't want to be standing there while dad's filming penny machines. These are some nice coins, some of the villain set. Unfortunately, a couple of the designs are not available anywhere on property anymore. So that's a mini set we'll never be able to finish anymore unless you might be able to check eBay maybe and find the missing ones on there. Baseball Mickey, Tennis Goofy. Something about Minnie? Oh yeah, she's wearing roller skates. Even the lighting on those pennies when I tried to take the picture, it's hard to get pennies, especially because a lot of time when you press them, they're curved. So when you, if you just bring them home and you try to take pictures of them, the light will reflect off of them differently. So some of it will be really bright. Some of it is really dark. Uh, so unless you can kind of bend them flat a little bit, it makes them a little easier. It's something I'm still struggling with. I'm still trying to figure out a better way to do it. I've got a lot of suggestions of how people take pictures of pennies. Um, I think it has gotten better over time. Uh, but I'm hoping at some point I'll be able to find a more foolproof way to do it. There's my daughter's hand. She was another one that did it so quickly I had to like slow-mo it just so we could actually try to get a little image of her holding it. And there was a pool for about half a second and then us driving away. <laughs> This shot here is actually at our old house before we moved to Florida. I just took a whole bunch of pennies. I actually, this is my banner I use on the blog. If you ever want to check it out, it's davidscointravels.blog. 
Um, but I actually just put a whole bunch of pennies on my desk. I had like a wood grain desk, snapped a picture of it and just kind of cropped it a little bit. And I've used it ever since. I actually really like it. And then I've kind of used it and I've updated it over time. So when like, I just recently updated the intro for 2020 uh, and I used a lot of new 2020 Disney designs on there. So I, I like the idea, so I actually keep using it. And I've noticed a lot of other collectors have used a similar idea for you know Facebook pages or Instagram accounts, stuff like that, which is fantastic. I'm not, I obviously didn't create it, but I just think it's actually a really cool way, I think, to show off your coins, uh, which is really nice. So, okay, to be honest, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, sure, it was quite short, and I really just spent majority of the time in the main lobby, and I don't know, what would you say about two and a half seconds of the pool there at the end. So I guess it would be about time that maybe in the near future, I should go back to the resort and do a little more of an extensive review of the entire property. Uh, right now, the all-star resorts, all of them, not just this one, they're all currently closed and not scheduled to reopen until I believe sometime in 2021, but there's no definitive date set yet. That's also around the time that new press pennies should be coming out. Hopefully we're crossing our fingers for some new 2021 dated designs. So might all actually work out where we can do a full review of the resort and check out some new press pennies at the same time. Thank you for visiting again this week. I hope you got a bit of a laugh out of this video. I know I certainly did. As always, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that little notification bell. That way you're always made aware anytime I upload a new video. And as always, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Uh, you know, you're going to hear a lot. I know a lot of YouTubers are talking about the YouTube algorithm, uh, but it really does help. And it really just takes a second. It's just right down there at the bottom. If you can hit the thumbs up, it would be really much appreciated. Leave a comment below. Had you watched this resort video before? Or if not, what was your first video of ours that you watched? I'd be curious to actually hear what video maybe attracted you over to the channel, or maybe it was just press pennies in general. Uh, but if there's enough response to a certain video, that we've done, maybe I'll do another reaction video to it. And I think that might be kind of fun to check out some of the other ones in the same format. So as always, thanks again for checking in. Have a fantastic weekend as always. Keep on pressing.